when you walk up to the vehicle with the key, uh, that it just has the full proximity system. You can see the key is starting to flash now, letting you know uh, that it detects the vehicle and the vehicle detects it. Uh, so it's communicating with the vehicle, but it doesn't turn on any exterior lights. So when you just by walking up with the, the key, some vehicles turn on exterior lights, this one doesn't. Let's go ahead and turn on or unlock the doors. And when we do that, we have some lights there in the back, lights in the front, the interior lights also turn on. Uh, we also have these lights in the handles looking pretty cool. Kind of showing you where the handles are. And then there's this R that shines on the ground. It's not enough to act as a puddle light or a approach light, but it's just kind of a neat little touch there. And it projects from underneath the side mirror and it quickly goes out. So I have to keep hitting the unlock button and it's still not gonna, it's not gonna turn on now. So basically uh, that's it. It just kind of times out. Even when you keep hitting the unlock button, it doesn't give you any, that light. Um, so it just kind of times out. So you have to get in the vehicle quickly. Uh, it's not gonna help you out by unlocking, hitting the unlock button. When I turn off all the exterior lights using the switch, I still have these very bright daytime run lights illuminated. Now you could potentially mistake these as headlights. So, cause it does illuminate the ground in front, but you don't have any tail lights. And so if you accidentally turn off your headlights and you just drive around like this, uh, thinking you have your headlights on, it could be a safety problem. Now I have the parking lights on and it's basically the same daytime running lights are still on. They're very bright. Uh, let me turn off or turn down the brightness here so you can see the sharpness. They're very sharp and impressive. They're just very bright. And it's a white LED that's around each headlight. It looks good. Now with the parking lights on, you do have these amber side markers now illuminated here on the side of the vehicle here in the front. And the tail lights are now on here in the back and they kind of wrap around to the side serving as a side marker. And you can see they're, they kind of look a little orangey but they are red in color. The tag lights are also on, they're very bright and they illuminate the ground which is nice. Gives you a little bit of an approach light back here. Uh, but these tail lights are really nice looking. So the turn signal replaces that bright white light. Uh, the headlight would be still on if it was on, but the headlights are not on quite yet. Um, it just turns off that daytime running light and then it replaces the upper portion uh, with this bright amber light. So, and it's nice and sharp and bright. So you can see it from a distance. You can see it from the front uh, and the side here on the front. Now there's also an amber turn signal indicator here on the side mirror. It's visible from the front, the side, and the back. Now the tail light turn signal is amber in color and it's just below that red portion. And it is quite bright. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on, cycle through here and turn on the headlights. So you can see it's quite a bit of a difference, much brighter the headlights, of course. Uh, so not a dim daytime running light, but it's nothing like the headlights here. Now the, the headlights also have these kind of replacement for a fog light. Uh, when you have these turned off, they turn in the cornering lights. Uh, but you can see it's a light there you can see them kind of illuminates the side there. And it kind of has a little icon like it's storming or something. Um, so let's start off with just the low beams here. So low beams are a projector system. So it's two projectors actually on each side. and they're an auto leveling system. Right in here is that, that light we saw in the corner. It illuminates from that little, that basically the inner corner of the, uh, of the headlight housing. That's where it comes from. 
Uh, but you'll notice <clears throat> now that the headlights are on, there's this light that's in the center. The kind of kind of accent light right here, looking pretty cool. Kind of almost connects both headlights, and it's nice and sharp. I keep having to turn the brightness down so you can see it because it's so so bright it blows out the camera. Uh, the cutoff here for the low beams where I'm standing is quite low. So right there, it's like a foot and a half off the ground. So the low beams have a pretty pretty safe cutoff area. Turn the steering wheel here, that turn that that light turns into a cornering light when it's turned off. Um not sure why the tire's squeaking. Oh yeah, it's on that. I see it's on that line, that painted line. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the, the high beams. So there's the low beams, there's the high beams. Low and high. And the high actually uh, adjust, not only does have additional light going up high, but it's it readjusted that line I, I just showed you a little bit higher. So now, uh, it's the same projector headlights. Uh, they're just focused in a different area. So it's basically the same exact, it looks the same from here anyways. Except for it's going to have a bright light even standing up here. So there's not like a, a cut off so much anymore because we're actually shining up in the trees. Looking at the cargo area lighting, uh, not all that great. We have a single light here on the right side, right in there. It is quite bright, uh, but you can see it's kind of tucked in that little cubby there. So we have a shadow in this area. We have a shadow over here because I have something in the middle. So if you have things in the cargo area, everything to the left is going to be a shadow. This whole area is dark now. Uh, so having just one light instead of two is not all that great. Uh, also, it's in this low position. So if you were to have one on the other side and then you had one or two on the underside of this lift gate as like over the shoulder type lights, then it would be adequate. As it is right now, it's just not all that great. It's better than not having any light, but it's not all that good. The inside of the back door, uh, there's no puddle lights, there's no approach lights, nothing to um, illuminate the ground except for the interior lights. You notice they actually shine on the ground, which is shows you how bright they are. So uh, I guess that helps out. But um, you know, some vehicles have like puddle lights or something like that. This one doesn't have it. Now it does have the ambient lights, which will sh I'll show you that. Uh, right now I have them set at green and purple. So there's green down there and then purple up here. You can change, customize the colors and all that stuff. Uh, this is open here. And then there's a little finder light for the, inter for the power window. And check it out, super bright back here. So even with the dark interior, you can see nice. And then there's climate control illuminations. Also there's USB-C ports that are illuminated as well. Backlit illuminated. So yeah, really nice lighting. And it's coming from one on either side, uh, right there, like two, well, two together, two together right there. But it's actually like, kind of like four if you add them up. But anyways, um, there's also a little bit of ambient light coming in the center. When you turn off all the lights, it has a little bit of a soft light. I'll, show, I'll try to show it to you anyway. Now the inside uh, of, this, of this front door, once again, there's no puddle light or anything. It does have that R shining on the ground, which is kind of neat, but not that functional. Uh, so we have the lights down here. We have the backlit illuminated buttons, door locks, and then that purple light. And check it out, just as bright here in the front. So the interior lights really are the redeeming factor in a lot of, in a lot of ways, because there's some, some drawbacks as far as the interior lights, especially the cargo area. Uh, so yeah, those interior lights kind of shining from the center just like the back and do a good job of illuminating everything. So I have the door open and the interior lights are on so you can see what they look like nice and bright. So as I shut the door interior lights fade out 
and we're left with the backlit buttons and the ambient lights they're calling those red lights ambient lights there's a subtle floorboard illumination here uh, the ambient lights are in the back doors as well they're in the pocket has some light and there's some light there you also have some soft light coming from the uh, those center tap lights it kind of gives you a soft light there in the center of the back seat it's kind of hard to see but uh, it does give you a tiny bit of light and it's similar to these right here you see these squares um, that gives you a little bit of just kind of bearings light just get your bearings type thing okay so let's start over here there's the drivers door pocket there's the buttons that are back lit and you notice that red light not only does it cast light here on the door but around things around it get illuminated in that that red light as well and we can change the colors which I'll, which I'll show you that in a minute there's those backlit buttons there you can see the floorboard illumination here's the headlight switch It's like a series of soft touch buttons. Pretty much everything in this vehicle is soft touch buttons. There's the steering wheel and a really cool R button there, which this vehicle is really good. It's like it's made for the R mode, the race mode. And there's the screen. Gauge cluster, basically. There's the touch screen here. Actually, let me go to the different views here on this screen, and we'll get to the navigation, so you can see what it looks like here in the dark mode. During the day, it's it's much brighter. And let's go to the navigation map here, so you can see it's in that dark mode. There's some backlit buttons here. This pocket is illuminated. There's the shifter. It has the little gears uh, illuminated there. And actually, let me go back to the steering wheel because the the turn signal stock uh, and the win and the um, windshield wiper stock is completely dark. There's no lights there. So I just want to point that out. Some vehicles have some illumination there. Even the some vehicles actually have illuminated. Um, Paddle shifters as well. This one doesn't have any of that. Uh, there is a pocket right here to the right. Let me show you what I'm talking about right here, which is dark. Uh, it's not a huge deal, uh, but I just want to point that out. And you see this pocket, this uh, cup holder, and then this center armrest. We're going to get to that. Let me go ahead and turn the interior lights off so you can see that this is illuminated. Uh, but when you use this, this little cup thing, uh, it blocks the light, but it's not a huge deal. Uh, but it's quite bright right in there. Uh, but the center center armrest is completely dark. So let me turn the interior lights on again, so you can see there's no lights in there. Glove compartment does have a light. Seems to work okay. Up here, uh, we have the backlit buttons. We can turn on all the interior lights right there. Turn them off by hitting it again. Now, if you want the interior lights to stay off, even when you open the door, you can turn that feature off here and you can see it turns orange. And the roadside assistance buttons, there's the slider for the sunroof. And then once again, these are these lights here. Now the way these, uh, these lights work, they're pretty bright. If you just turn them on, uh, they're very bright. Uh, so if you don't want them quite so bright, you can press and hold it and they'll start dim and then you can just let go. Uh, and you can it basically increases the brightness and you just let go at the brightness that you want So now it's quite a bit dimmer than say turning it on It's much brighter. So let's do that with you can see that one's dimmer than that one You just tap it to turn it off uh, The visors have a pretty bright light there with the mirror Okay, so let's change the ambient light uh, colors. Go to ambient light there. And uh, right now we have it in Euphoria, which is that red. Let me turn the brightness down on the camera uh, because it's 
starting to get blown out there. All right. Uh, I have to turn the brightness up on the camera so you can kind of see better on the, in the vehicle, but when I actually look at the screen, it's gonna be, it just kind of blows it out. Uh, we can adjust the brightness to the ambient light right there at the top. We can turn it all the way off if we want to. All right, so let's, I'm gonna go through the colors so you can see. Um, this first one's called Infinity. I guess I'll have to turn the brightness back up. So that way you can see uh, the ambient lights. Okay, so that first one is Infinity. Next one is Eternity. It's like a teal color. Next one is Desire, which is a blue. Nice. We already saw Euphoria, which is a red. Vitality, which is kind of like a yellow. You can customize a color. Here's actually, uh, let me turn the brightness down again. All right, so there is the customize. You can customize right there. Oh, there it is. There's the custom button to customize it. And then once you hit custom, it'll go to it. Uh, so we have color one and color two. So let's change color one to a red and then color two to a green. All right. And then we'll go to the brightness here. Um, we're gonna adjust the brightness independently here. We'll turn everything right up to the max. There's the different colors. All right, so now we have, go back. all right, we're in the custom mode. So once we adjust the colors for color one and color two, uh, we have the, we can choose all red and then the, uh, the proportion of green that we wanna allow. Um, so, so right now it's like red upper, green lower. Okay, so we've got a uh, green pocket down here, green floorboard, and then the upper part is the red. So now we have the upper parts red, the lower like the, the floorboard, the door, this pocket right here is green. Uh, this remains white, but um, so you can see that. So floorboard there on this door, red and green. Uh, so that's that selection there. The next one, we hit that one, and then we will get, um, we got the red there, we got these pockets green, but then the floorboards are red. So it's showing red, green, red. Next one, red and green. So the only thing green now is the floorboard and all the pockets and all these other lights are red. So not only can you customize the, uh, the colors, the different colors there, but also to the degree in which you want to have those colors, you know, the way they're, they're laid out basically. And of course the brightness. And then there's automatic. So it depends on your drive mode or change the colors. And of course you can turn these off. And when we turn them off, uh, it turns off everything. The floorboard illumination, the door illumination, the pockets are now dark, um, except for this one, this one stays. So if you turn off the mood lights, it turns all the lights, all those extra lights off. Uh, so let's go back to, I kind of like the, uh, the red and green custom, so we'll stick with that. Actually, I changed my mind. <laughs> I went with the a purple and a green combo here. You notice it also changes the color here on the screen to purple as well. When you turn on the vehicle, uh, the headlights go through the range of motion. You can see they go up and down like so, just to get, to test their their auto leveling system before you drive. Uh, so it's kind of neat to see them gonna go up and down when you first start out the vehicle. Cornering lights are turning on. And they're really handy. I like the I like the cornering lights better than like bendy lights. So you can see there's the cutoff. You can see in those bushes right there. It's it's quite low, and um, you can see it's it's bright 
below that cutoff. Very bright headlights. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that, turn on those cornering lights on all the time because I like that side visibility. It helps out quite a bit. So as I accelerate, the vehicle kind of moves back a little bit, and when it does that, it keeps the headlights from popping up and blinding other people. Now there is a little bit of a patch on the oncoming lane that is a little bit lower, that cutoff is a little bit lower, uh, so as, as you go out a further distance, it drops down, so that way you're going up and down hills um, in addition to the auto leveling system you have that little bit of a dark net area on the oncoming lane which is nice for not blinding people especially since we have such bright lights now I had the head the, the camera brightness set a little bit brighter than normal just so you can see the pattern and see the distance of the headlights so some lights, like the interior lights, might look a little bit blown out. So let's go ahead and turn on the automatic high beams and look at that uh, hopefully you can tell it is a good view it is a really good view now there's a car coming the automatic high beams turn dim the lights so that's good all right so yeah I can see those trees in the distance I can see the the roads evenly the light is evenly distributed it doesn't look patchy uh, it looks really good. Excellent. I think these are excellent headlights actually. <laughs> they look they look good, they're bright, and I could just see everywhere. The sides, good distance, everything. Very impressive. For a vehicle this low to the ground too. Uh, usually the higher the vehicle the more you know you have a good a better distance and all that stuff. But uh, even with a vehicle this low, this is probably, it's up there. It's up there as far as, as far as um, being really good. Excellent headlights.